Good afternoon and welcome back to our Year 11 weekly vlog. Thank you for your time that you give up to watch this and listen to the important messages that are coming up with your, your children at school. Um, I just want to start off with number one. There's uh, four things on the agenda this week and running up until uh, December the 17th. The first one is that you will receive your child's uh, PPE timetables, which indicate what subjects they've got on what days, in what rooms and what seats. And that starts on January the 17th. Um, they've all been sent out. Each student will get a hard copy of that from their tutor as well. So that's in preparation for January. Then they can have a look at how they plan their time at home for revision. Okay. The second point on that we need to mention is that we're being quite creative with um, with the end of term, which often can be a bit fluffy towards the end. Which, unfortunately, I'm not the the most favourite head of year at the minute. Um, we're going to squeeze as much as we can out of the staff and the students right up until the uh, 16th of December, the day before we break up. Um, I've proposed to collapse the curriculum for Year 11s in school and that allows us to be able to really focus on your child's um, options that they've chosen. Not English, Maths and Science with particular focus because that is a continued thread all year, but in the option blocks because speaking to the students and the staff that lead the option subjects, there's a lot of, um, there's, there's a lot of work that's not quite finished, needs to be improved. Um, and we need to be able to solidify all of that work before we go to Christmas because the philosophy in year 11 is trying to keep it calm and try and keep it as the feeling of safety at, at the top of the agenda and to do that um, we're gonna we're gonna spend five hours a day in each option um, that timetable will go out to each student so they will spend five hours on each option from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So by Friday and the Christmas period they can properly have a rest and get prepared for their PPEs in January. Um, that timetable will go out through tutors. It doesn't affect anything at home, it's just the, the curriculum time in school. The third point is we are very fortunate Mr Brook has always sanctioned us to, to give the Year 11s a bit of an incentive to have their uh, leavers hoodies in January. Um, so you will receive today at the end of, end of the school day um, an email which has an order form and that is for Kit World where we get our uniform from um, and it allows you to purchase, it's not compulsory, purchase a leavers hoodie for your child um, direct with Kit World. When you order it through Kit World, if you want to order it, you fill out all the details and the colour, choose the colour your, your child wants and the size which they can go and get sized up at reception. I advise them to do that first before you put an order in because every manufacturer is slightly different sizes, uh, offer different sizes. So when you get that order form through, directly with, direct with Kit World, select the, select the delivery to school option. Therefore, Kit World will deliver them all in one big lump, um, one big job lot to school in January ready for the first day back, uh, for the first week back. Okay, so the Leavers hoodies availability is from the end of school today. Um, have a look, uh, start ordering it on the letter and they can get sized up from lunchtime today. They know that already. What we've said for the hoodies is that with Mr Brooks permission, students are able to wear the Leavers hoodie as part of their school uniform. So from January, once those hoodies have arrived, they will be able to stop wearing their school blazer and wear their hoodie over their shirt and tie um, so that they are identifiable as the Year 11 cohort who are working towards transitioning into sixth form where they then no longer have to wear a uniform. Um, slightly more comfortable for them and warm as well when they're studying and sitting in the exam hall for their PPEs. This has been a real positive um, step that we've had since Mr Brook has joined us and it's worked really well and it gives a little bit of uh, individuality to Year 11s because they have worked really hard and they deserve it. So it's not compulsory, have a look at the letter, it's all explained on there all I do advise is that you uh, you ask your child to go and get sized up at reception first before you make uh, an order okay um, and I'm just going to pass over to Miss Ashton who'd like to just uh, give you a bit of news about um, our, our, our partnership and our teamwork over the last few years with a few changes ahead and I'm going to do this without crying because I'm going to save all of that for the last day of term um, it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to work alongside Mr Mitchell um, focusing on Year 11 and particularly with this cohort who coming back from Covid have been absolutely superb in their focus during the autumn term. Um, but I've been successful in securing my own headship and will be leaving Lipson after 21 years at Christmas. 
Um, so I have two weeks left with them and then I'm going to hand them over, um, obviously keeping them in Mr Mitchell's safe hands, but hand them over to Mr Boys who will move forwards overseeing year 11. So I'd like to thank all of the parents um, who I've worked with and been in contact with while I've been working with year 11. I wish your children all the best in the remainder of the academic year and I look forward to hearing about their results and their success in the summer and hopefully Mr Mitchell will allow me to come along um, and see them for results day and perhaps to pop along to the, pop, to the prom and see them there as well. Um, but it's uh, with much excitement but also some real sadness to be moving on from Lipson. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you did well. Did well. Um, just on the just on the sixth form theme, uh, the cut off point for option selection for sixth form is is today. I know there'll be a few due to uh, that won't be handed in due to various COVID related issues. That's no problem. We can work it out. So don't worry. Don't panic about it. But if you're if you're unaware of the cut off date, it is today. But come and see me. Uh, tell your child to come and see me, and we can sort it out. But from me and. Mrs Ashton, thank you very much. Thanks for uh, all your support this year. And um, any queries, any problems, please don't hesitate to drop me a line or an email. Okay, thanks and have a nice Christmas. And a happy new year.